I just got finished doing two Blogilates workouts. Um, I'm talking low because my mom is resting because she has a bad headache, but <sighs> I did the new oblique workout that she posted and the extreme ab workout three. This is the first time I've ever done Blogilates workouts and oh my gosh, <laughs> I was shaking like no joke, no joke, but I think that's just what I need to get back into the shape that I want to be. Wow. Those were intense. My abs are burning. And this protein shake never tasted so good. <laughs> I don't know what it is lately, but I'm like freezing. I don't know what's going on. It's like 55 degrees outside it's supposed to be today. It's also rainy though, but I don't know. So anyways, I got into bed. I've been working at my desk. Um, but now I'm like finishing with video stuff and, um, a couponing presentation that I'll have to give at, um, a women in business networking meeting that I go to every month. I'm the presenter this month and I'm going to be talking about like the beginner couponer and how to become one and how to do that kind of stuff. But anyway, so I'll keep working, but I'm in my soft blanket. This is actually just like, um, one that my best friend got me a couple years ago for Christmas. So my mom recently found another one, and this one's cheetah, and it's just like, these are the warmest and most comfortable blankets ever, because they're super soft on both sides, and I love it. So yeah, that's all I had to say. <laughs> so what's going on, everyone? I'm about to get ready and go to work. This morning, I spent my morning watching YouTube videos of people, like, exploring, um, what do you call it? Like, they're exploring, like abandoned malls and and uh you know schools and things like that and like i gotta give a credit to those guys because like i would love to do that explore like abandoned malls and places like that or go to like you know a haunted mansion or something like that but first of all i'd be too afraid to do that unless i had like a bunch of my friends with me which they do um and then second of all i don't know where to find all that stuff but I was binge watching like a bunch of them so I give it up to the people that are like I'm gonna go explore this today you guys are dope but off to work gonna start this day off I know yesterday's vlog was a bit short um you know I of course had to work um, Lauren was busy doing what she had to do for her YouTube getting you know a lot of her videos done and edited so it was it was a you know not too much happening so that's why that video or that, um, that vlog was so, you know, small, you could say. But, uh, let's see if we can make this interesting. Let's go. I gotta say, I love making these dope edits. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> like all around me is just super bright one of the things i know i don't get maybe it's just me but i never got when people are like it's um um what do you call it like it's it's raining so i'm just gonna chill in the house and sleep all day and yada yada, yada. no offense to anyone else that that anyone that does that but i'm still someone like i love being out whether it's raining snowing whatever like i just want to be out the house <laughs> like I don't like being in here. Whoop! So let's see. Let's uh, see how this goes today. I'm hoping yesterday was great when I came to work. I killed it with um, you know, meeting what I want to make for goals. So I'm hoping for another great day for today. I have a lot of meetings and trainings and things I gotta do. So I feel like it's gonna be an easy day. I am major bumming it today. Look at those socks. Cheetah socks and everything. Anyways, I'm going to see my cousin, who I haven't seen in like over, whoa, hello there. I haven't seen in over a year. Okay, we'll talk more in the car because it's getting bright. There's a bird at the end of my driveway. And I was like, oh my God, I have to move before she runs me over. <laughs> Anywho, 
So I am first heading into town to get some gas because I need it very badly. Um, and because he lives like a few towns over, so yeah, I ain't gonna make it. So um, getting gas, and then I will be over his place. So a little about him. Um, he's my age. I can't remember if he's like slightly older, slightly younger. He's, he's my age, basically. And um, we hadn't seen each other for 10-ish years. Um, family stuff. Um, but like the last I had remembered him was when I was like itty bitty, like a little kid. Um, and then I reconnected with him when I was a CNA because my grandfather worked, or excuse me, didn't work, I worked there. My grandfather um, stayed in the nursing home where I was working at. So I actually reconnected with him first, which was a bizarre story. And then Brandon, that's his name, uh, my cousin, he visited one day and I was just like, oh, wow. I was like, it, it was a really weird situation. It was one of those where I was like not expecting it and I never thought I'd see him again. And then I did. And, you know, so that was in 2011. So ever since we've been in contact, um, we don't see each other much just because of like crazy schedules. He works something like three jobs or something. Like, he's, he's working hard for, you know, himself. And I'm so proud of him. But, um,. Yeah, and then between mine and being with Chevelle and everything, it's just been craziness. But, yeah, so, um, I've only, like, hung out with him a few times in the past few years, but I'm excited to again. Like I said, the last time I saw him was, like, a year and three months ago or something. I have his container. <laughs> um, I'm one of those people, like, I'm like my mom. She always expects her containers back. I got one of those moms that's like, don't you dare lose my Tupperware. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so I, you know, I was raised in that mindset. And so um, I still have his container from when he gave me leftovers a year and three months ago. And now I can finally give it back. <laughs> so there's that. Um, but I'm just excited. And I'll see his uh, girlfriend who he had at my grandmother's funeral and then they like were on a break a while and dated other people and now they're back together um so i haven't seen her in four five years no four three four years something like that um so that'll be cool she's coming by later but yeah so i'll ask if he's comfortable being in the vlog of course i never know when i bring that up to people around me like danielle and chris were cool about it but i don't know about him so i'll ask but hopefully we can vlog some stuff because we have a fun time. So, yeah. So maybe I'll get to see my cousin. Um, but yeah. So that's what I'm up to right now. Oh, I need to vent a little bit. So I have this client who booked me for a wedding, which is next month in May. And her trial was originally going to be last Wednesday. And then she canceled like the night before and we rescheduled for today so I was like okay whatever um, her, her, her reason then was oh she had to do this like last-minute meeting or something and I'm sorry but in my mind when I book something I'm booked with you like literally tonight with Brandon like that's like in my planner like I prioritize and I'm like I'm not gonna break this unless like the deal of a lifetime comes along you know so that happened we rescheduled for today and then she emailed me an hour and a half before I had to be at the trial saying that she had a death in the family so she had to reschedule again so me being the optimistic person that I am I was like okay like, I'm going to look at the good in people and think this is real. Because anybody can easily use that excuse and the person, the other person wouldn't know the difference. So I'm going to be the good person and think, okay, she's serious. So, you know, I sent her a nice email back, you know, so sorry for your loss. Reschedule when you're able, blah, blah, blah. 
But it's like, oh my god, if this happens again with the same person, I will be irritated. I mean, she even, like, she gave me the wedding deposit and everything. So she's serious. Like, it's a non-refundable deposit. But, I don't know. It's just one of those wacky situations. So, we'll see what happens. But, third time better be a charm. I swear. Oh, yes. Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh! Jesus Christ. You're going to scare my viewers. Oh, no. Viewers. <laughs> Say. So I told them a little about you before I got here, but oh, no, you nice. can introduce yourself if you'd like. I'm Brandon, and I'm Laura's cousin. Everyone says we look alike, that we look like we can be like brother and sister. I mean, we're cousins, so I guess She looks like her thing. grandpa, though. You really do. Yeah, but I just don't want the nose, because that was like... You have he his had, nose. But she had a serious nose, so... <laughs> his, you know, his name spelled backwards is Knarp. He had a canarf nose. <laughs> this is what I deal with. He's really, really weird. Yeah. But Damn. it's fun. It's, Hold on it's fun. one minute. Oh boy. Keep that going. I, I don't, really I don't know to, what we're doing. I really have to lower these blinds. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that's why I should never be allowed don't, to blinds. Don't, don't put the drinks. Okay. 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 Well. He's a mess. Oh my, oh my god, you're gonna like stab me. Okay. Bazanchev! Ah! Oh my god! This is the craziest you've ever seen me this get on like a vlog. Cute of you. Oh god. That's just gross, I don't need to see that. Ugh. I'm going here. I'm gonna hide. He's a mess. See, that's how he took the body. Oh my god, you need to stop. <laughs> oh, you're gonna destroy my purse. Your purse? Yes. Oh. I care more about my purse than your body. Well, the Pope's purse is on fire. What? What? What does that even mean? I can't right now. I can't do this morning. Okay, why don't you just like put it away somewhere? <laughs> put it away somewhere? I don't know, put it in a closet or something. Put it on the floor, we don't need it. I fixed it, okay, here we go. Are you sure this time? Hello, viewers. Uh, I think so. Okay. okay, now don't touch it. Don't touch it, get down. Good my job! Stick. I broke my stick. I wouldn't tell your girlfriend that. Yeah, no. <laughs> probably her reaction will probably be, it, it, it's about time to broke. But anyway. All right. Ooh. That's TMI. Ooh. That's TMI. Okay, bye! Bye! Okay, so I'm hyped. Um, so what I just did, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm back from work. Um, what I did... Um, just now, before I even started recording this, um, I, I set up this little date and got this thing situated for me and Lauren on um, Monday. So yesterday, or not even yesterday, a few vlogs ago, probably two, three vlogs ago, I was saying how I was spending the, the morning, um, you know, getting ready, getting some things in order, trying to make some plans, um, to surprise Lauren with, like, little, little things, because every now and then I like to do something cool. I had to take my glasses off. I wasn't feeling it. You were seeing the glare. It's all me. So, you know, like I said, I was planning some things. I'm hyped. So I told Lauren, I got a little surprise date planned for us for Monday. I took off from work. So Monday, um, we're going to be going to something. I'm not, I can't tell you guys because surprisingly, she watches these videos too. I know, right? <laughs> so excuse the white balance in my background. Yeah. But I'm hyped. Like, like I, I'm hyped. I can't wait for this to see, like, it's hyped. I'm excited for this. I'm sure she's going to enjoy um, this little surprise date that I have planned. You know? You know? You know? Shout out to all the boyfriends that treat their girlfriends amazingly well. In the words of Warren, even though she's not there, you the real MVP. <laughs> oh, God. But I'm hyped. Um, so right now, Warren's out with her cousin, you know, hanging out. Yada 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 yada. 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get ready to edit this vlog for you guys right now. So I'll call this the outro because I don't know what Lauren's doing. So I'm gonna outro this out for you guys. So hope everyone's enjoying these daily vlogs. I can't wait for Monday, which actually Monday, you guys will see the video Tuesday because it's gonna come up the next day. So I'm sure you guys are looking forward to that. I'm hyped. Are you hyped? Mm. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Well, I definitely hope everyone has a great day. Stay tuned for vid uh, next Tuesday's video when that goes up, so you guys can see um, the the place I plan on bringing Lauren for for a little surprise date. Cause you know I'm just the dopest boyfriend ever. If you feel like a pimp, I'm going to your shoulders off. <laughs> but hopefully you guys are enjoying these vlogs. I'm sorry, but yesterday's video was super slim, like six minutes, because I was busy in the work. Lauren was busy doing her thing. We busy. <laughs> but hopefully this, this vlog wasn't too, you know, too short for you guys, at least in my standards. I like a cool 8 to 10, maybe 20 minute vlog every now and then. But uh, hope everyone's having a great night. I'm definitely having a great day myself. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.